you probably remember electrons from science class. They're stable subatomic particles that have negative electrical charge. They're found in atoms and are the primary carrier of electricity in solid materials. But, what you probably haven't heard of, is the idea that each and every electron in existence, is actually the exact same electron. This theory states that, every electron in the universe is actually one particle that continually travels backward and forward through time. There is a lot of complicated math involved, but it does solve some of quantum physics biggest unanswerable questions. The theory was first thought up by John Archibald Wheeler, a theoretical physicist who worked on the hydrogen bomb at Los Alamos, and later taught at Princeton. He is largely known for reviving interest in general relativity in the 1940s and 1950s. Like many quantum theories, the idea that every electron is the same electron, known as the one electron theory, is more of a thought experiment than a theory. One of the biggest reasons that this thought experiment was proposed by Willer is that each and every electron looks exactly the same. They all have the same mass and the same electric charge. This ultimately means that it's impossible to tell electrons apart at all. So, it's not surprising that Wheeler thought up the idea that, if all electrons look the same and act the same, then maybe they are the same electron. According to the one electron theory, in the same way as an electron can be bounced around in space, when hit with light, the electron might also be able to bounce backward in time. The consequence of this is that electrons moving backwards in time are positrons, the antimatter component of electrons. So, not only are all electrons the same electron, but all positrons are also the same electron moving backward in time. As a professor, Wheeler taught his student, now famous as physicist Richard Feynman. When he was a doctoral student, here's what Feynman said. I received a telephone call one day at the Graduate College at Princeton from Professor Wheeler, in which he said, Feynman, I know why all electrons have the same charge and the same mass. Because, they are all the same electron. For to many physicists, what Wheeler was proposing really didn't seem that reasonable. Physicists were already working with the idea of electrons and positrons. Wheeler just proposed a way to connect every single one in existence simultaneously, as a way of explaining why no one could tell the difference between them. All of this is rather interesting to consider. But there's an issue at the root of this thought experiment. If a single electron travels forward through time as an electron and backward through as a positron, that would mean that at any given point, there should be the same number of positrons as there are electrons. So. The one electron theory is more of a thought experiment than a theory. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.